It's Sean O'Malley spilling the beans about his past suspensions and Dana White's reaction to it. And as if that wasn't enough, we've got the lowdown on Dreykus Duplessis' $10,000 leap of faith over the octagon. Yeah, you heard that right. In a shocking twist, right before his pivotal bantamweight title showdown at UFC 292, Sean O'Malley has decided to spill the beans about his past suspensions due to the use of Osterine, a substance that's infamous for its steroid-like properties. Hold on to your hats, folks, because this revelation has sent shockwaves through the MMA world, leaving fans and fighters alike scratching their heads. Now, if you're not up to speed on O'Malley's roller coaster journey in the UFC, let me fill you in. This guy burst onto the scene with the swagger and style that'd give Conor McGregor a run for his money. He was the fan favorite, the future superstar, but his path to championship contention hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows. You won't believe what happened next. O'Malley, he's had his fair share of ups and downs, and these suspensions, if they turn out to be true, are like adding insult to injury. Dana White, the big boss of the UFC, wasn't one to hold back his thoughts on this bombshell. I mean, look, if that's true, it's a damn shame, White said, his voice dripping with a mix of frustration and disappointment. We've invested a lot of time and effort into Sean, and if he's been messing around with that stuff, it's a kick in the teeth for the sport and for his fans. But let's not jump the gun. We need to wait and see how this all plays out. You know, there's been a lot of speculation, but we'll get to the bottom of it. Now, White's words might be measured, but you can feel the weight of this situation. O'Malley's potential fall from grace, if true, would be a massive blow to the organization. But here's the thing. The controversy around O'Malley's past suspensions, his refusal to accept defeat, and the level of his recent opponents had already cast a shadow over his journey. His upcoming fight against Aljamain Sterling was supposed to be his chance to shut up the naysayers and cement his legacy, but these new allegations have thrown a wrench into the works. So what's O'Malley's take on all this? Well, that's the million dollar question. The man's been as silent as a ninja in a library, but if these unconfirmed reports hold any truth, he's got some serious explaining to do to his fans, his peers, and the sport as a whole. Now, speaking of O'Malley's journey, let's dive a bit deeper. This dude's path to his career-defining fight against Aljamain Sterling at UFC 292 has been anything but straightforward. Some fans have compared him to Conor McGregor, but their journeys to championship contention have been quite different. O'Malley made his UFC debut back in 2017 through Dana White's Contender Series, and he had a stellar record to back him up. Seven wins, five finishes, and just one decision. This guy was a knockout machine, and he even had Snoop Dogg himself commentating his debut. Yeah, it was Viral Sensation City. Now in his first official UFC fight on the Ultimate Fighter 26 finale, O'Malley faced Tarion Ware. He didn't knock him out, but he dominated the fight with his striking and bagged a unanimous decision win. That win maintained his undefeated record and showed everyone his potential. He kept the ball rolling by defeating Andre Sukamthath. And get this, he did it with an injured foot in the third round. Talk about heart and resilience. But then, his journey took a dark turn when he failed two consecutive drug tests for Osterine. Suspensions and a two-year absence from competition followed. But hold on. He made a splash upon his return at UFC 248, showing no signs of cage rust and swiftly defeating Jose Alberto Quinones with a first round TKO. His next fight against Eddie Wineland at UFC 250 featured a spectacular knockout that showcased his versatility and striking skills. Now let's talk about a fight that didn't go quite as planned. O'Malley went up against Marlon Chito Vera and boy oh boy, the trash talk and antics leading up to the fight backfired big time. O'Malley suffered a leg injury from a low kick, leading to his TKO defeat, but here's the kicker. He refused to acknowledge the loss, claiming he was mentally undefeated. You can imagine the internet had a field day with that one. After that setback, O'Malley decided to take a year away from the sport. But when he came back to face Thomas Almeida at UFC 260, he showed everyone he still had it. Almeida, once a high potential prospect, had a deteriorating record and a suspect chin. O'Malley scored a third round knockout, but some folks argued it wasn't against top competition. He then fought Chris Moutinho and Raleigh and Paiva, both unranked fighters, and got the W. 
but it didn't exactly establish him as a top contender. Even his bout against Pedro Munhoz at UFC 276 ended in a no contest due to an accidental eye poke. People started questioning O'Malley's abilities against the big dogs. But then came the fight against former bantamweight champion Petter Yan at UFC 280. And you won't believe what happened next. O'Malley consistently outstruck Yan and forced him to resort to wrestling. Controversy or not, O'Malley proved his capabilities on a big stage. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. O'Malley is about to step into the octagon for his very first UFC title fight at UFC 292. Regardless of the controversies and mixed performances, he's here to make a statement. So get ready, because this Saturday's fight is going to be a banger. Now let's shift gears and talk about another wild story that's been buzzing around the MMA world. This one involves none other than Drikus Duplessis, the South African sensation who decided to take a leap of faith, quite literally, and jump over the octagon cage. Oh, and did I mention he got slapped with a $10,000 fine for it? Yeah, you heard that right. Picture this, Las Vegas, July. The world of mixed martial arts is no stranger to controversy, but Duplessis added a unique twist to his already burgeoning career. Fresh off a technical knockout victory over Robert Whittaker that had the crowd roaring in awe, Duplessis spotted none other than former President Donald Trump in the audience. And what did he do? He decided to take the plunge, quite literally. As the cage side cameras captured this surreal moment, Duplessis catapulted himself over the cage, breaking the cardinal rule of post-fight celebrations. But wait, it gets even crazier. He did it to greet Trump himself. A daring decision that would make the heart race of any adrenaline junkie. Now, let me give you the inside scoop, straight from Duplessis himself. After the fight, I looked to the side and Trump stood up and gave me an ovation. I was like, this is too cool of a moment for me to let by, and well, I jumped over the fence and greeted Trump. This was the President of the United States. I wasn't not going to greet him. This is amazing. I mean, can you blame the guy? It's not every day you get the chance to shake hands with a former US President, right? The fine might have stung a bit, but the adrenaline rush of that moment? Priceless, my friends. But let's not forget, Duplessis had been on a tear in the middleweight division. His six-fight win streak had earned him the number one contender spot. A title shot was on the horizon, and he was ready to seize it with both fists. Fast forward to UFC 297, set for January 20th at the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Canada. Duplessis was all set to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sean Strickland for the middleweight championship. The anticipation for this bout was off the charts especially after the fiery altercation between the two fighters at UFC 296 that left Strickland being escorted out of the arena. Duplessis, he had no regrets about his unforgettable moment with Trump. It was a bold move, and for someone who thrives on taking risks, it was just another chapter in his audacious journey to the top. In a world where rules are often broken, Drikas Duplessis broke free, leaping headfirst into destiny, fine be damned. Whether it's with Trump or in the octagon, one thing is clear. Duplessis is a fighter who doesn't back down from any challenge, making him a force to be reckoned with in the world of MMA. The tale of the $10,000 fine might be unconfirmed, but the legacy of Drikas Duplessis is undeniable. So there you have it, folks, the latest and greatest in the world of MMA. Sean O'Malley's shocking revelation and Dana White's reaction to it, plus Drikas Duplessis' daring leap over the cage. It's been a wild ride and the drama never seems to stop in the world of mixed martial arts. Stay tuned for more jaw-dropping moments because you know they're just around the corner.